This is Bill from OIMartialArts.com. I'm here to do a little bit of a long overdue follow-up to an old post we did about how to make a home dojo on a dime. Um, made a lot of improvements and changes since then. I'll just show you around. Uh, first off, here's our Shohei Ru Karate banner. When we train, it's good to know what we're doing. Um, I'll back up a little bit. Show you the next most important thing. It's the flooring. If you're going to make a dojo in your garage, you got to have something to cover up the concrete, unless you're tougher than me. But um, you see it's a little shabby, it's a little beat up, but it does the trick. Uh, we can practice uh, striking, grappling, uh, whatever you want on it. I wouldn't do a lot of takedowns though. Uh, it's only about a quarter inch, half inch thick. Um, barely that. So not the best thing for takedowns. But you can see basically how it works. Just puzzle mats, um, get them at Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, they do the trick. If you look around some more, we posted about uh, this mirror we did where we bought four or five dollar mirrors from Walmart, broke them out of the frame. I broke a few by accident actually, uh, something to be careful of. Uh, and you can stick them together. I did it with uh, Velcro tape. So if a panel breaks or needs to be replaced, it can be taken off without having to remove the whole mirror set, which is pretty nice. Obviously, we had to get the masters up here. It's important for any home dojo. So we've got Master Weichi on the left, Master Nakahoto, my two teachers, Ed and Jean DeCasa, Master Helio Gracie. You see my Weichi Ru Shohei Ru diploma there. Standing, freestanding heavy bag, Swiss ball, important stuff. I think you've seen that before. Um, over here is a new acquisition. Um, you can see um, an Olympic weight bar kind of crammed in the back there. Again, part of having a dojo in your garage is maintaining space in multifunction areas, so it's out of the way of the cars. Um, a couple of saw horses there to do squats, bench presses, stuff like that. Weight rack, wrist wraps, extra mirror, shop vac, important. Uh, have a, f a few uh, a bow staff and a few um, fake swords for practice. Some shelving for people who come train, put their stuff. Some new pads and a gi if anyone wants to buy it. <laughs> Charedo, size four. Uh, but the pads are really nice. Picked those up a little while ago. Um, different bins in these shelving units for striking pads, other miscellaneous stuff, gloves, uh, foam roller, stereo equipment if you like music while you train. Then um, you can see there's some yard tools here too. It's good stuff. You'll be able to multifunction. Um, Laundry bin, don't need to get into that. Uh, here's some fun implements of destruction a lot of you might be familiar with. Um, we've got some sledgehammers for conditioning, medicine balls, baseball bats. If you've seen karate videos, you know what we're trying to do with those. Um, wrist rollers, uh, ab rollers. You can use them for your shin conditioning too, not just for abdominal training. A uh, bucket of rice, work on grip strength. I'll show you that another time. A couple of Markawara pads, a rebreakable board. Uh, we've got resistance bands, weighted vest, weighted wrist, rate, wrist, wrist weights. I say that five times fast. Uh, down the bottom where my son can't get them. He's strong, but he's not that strong. Got a bunch of dumbbells. A lot of them are inherited. Uh, backpack full of weights. Can keep the bench on top of that. Keep stuff from getting knocked around. Um, you can see the stroller crammed in the back there and some kettlebells. But believe it or not, this power rack here is used more than just to hold the towel. Obviously, it doesn't take a lot of space, and uh, you can use it for a lot of great body weight exercises. Um, big sledgehammer to hit the tire out back. Bike's important. Can't train inside all the time. Uh, some cleaning implements, jump ropes. Both of those are pretty important, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, can't have a home dojo without some pictures. Got a few MMA pictures, a few karate pictures. Um, old dojo pictures from my high school years. Uh, and of course, we gotta have uh, you know our Charedo poster. And then you got your traditional American garage stuff here. Snow shovels, pegboard, generator. If you live in New England, you know why we need that nowadays. Shoe rack, <laughs> hat rack, uh, nothing fancy. Um, but you can see when we open up the space, you got room for your garage stuff, you got room for your cars, uh, and you got, you got your mats to train on. Uh, those extra mats there are to cover up where the tires go. So when my wife and I park our cars in here, we don't uh, tear up the mats too bad. Um, those are, you can get those at Lowe's or Home Depot too. 
they're actually, uh, you can see two different ones, but they're the same. I just didn't have enough edging to cover both of them. Um, there's duct tape on the bottom, and it keeps them together. And it's basically horse stall matting. Uh, if you train at a cross trim plate, cross, tr uh, can't say it now, CrossFit place, you've probably seen that before on the floor if they don't have, uh, they have mats at all, really. Um, so you can get small pieces of that just to cover up your tire tracks. And uh, here's a little shout out to our website, moimartialarts.com. And if you're interested in training, either Shoyu Karate, Gracie Jiu Jitsu, MMA, stuff like that, uh, check out mmaclub.org. Uh, and that's where uh, we're located here in Meriden, Connecticut. All right, signing off. Thanks.